right, so we're going to move on. We're going to do a couple technique talks here, 15 minute quick demos to give you a sense of some new ideas that you might try in your class. So we have Pearl here who has this board game that's been created called Snouts and Tails to help students apply to clinical situations. So I will turn it over to Pearl. Hello, um, can you all uh, hear me okay? Yes. And in the in the background, I took some of uh, your prompts, and here is now and tell in the background in all of its glory. Um, so I am going to share my screen. And present. We're still doing okay. Yep. All right, um, so thank you for the introduction. Uh, my name is Pearl Jednitsky. I'm a veterinarian by training. I guess I'm also in the group of people with an accent. Um, I'm originally from France, uh, but currently I am an associate professor at the College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Minnesota. Um, and I do pigs only because uh, pigs get sick too and um, they need doctors, so... Um, and that's what I do, and um, I teach students as well. And so um, I'm here to uh, present some of uh, well, one of the games that um, I use with my with my student. And this one was named by the students Snout and Tails, and uh, um, you'll um, you'll see why in a in a minute. So I guess the the rationale behind it is that. Um, well, I think we all are believers that um, games in general are a very good way to teach our students. And um, I'm sure you're all familiar with the COPE's learning cycle where um, students do something, they need to reflect on it, uh, conceptualize it, and then plan their next move. And um, I think that's what I was trying to at least get my students to do with this board game. And so, um, Maybe we have other health sciences educators um, in, the, in the meeting today, but I remember when I was um, training as a student, um, thinking about medicine, medicine names, and um, especially antibiotics, and how difficult it was for me to remember them all, and actually to pick one or two for um, a clinical application was very, very difficult. And so our program is four years. Um, our students see the pharmacology concepts or like how antibodies work um, in um, the body of the animal and which different family of uh, antibiotics we have. And they see that in their second year. And um, I get small groups in fourth year in their clinical rotation. And my job is to apply that in clinical scenarios. Um, you're going to see Farmer Joe, and um, this um, little piggy is sick. Um, I don't know, it's coughing. What are you? This is a clinical situation. What are you going to do? And um, I guess the default was to give a lecture uh, with a long list of, um, of names. Um, and um, and that was not very successful, uh, spoiler. Uh, doing a lecture with a long list of uh, complicated uh, ingredients and um, drug names didn't work out really well. So I thought, well, what can I do? And um, we have a wonderful faculty community at the U. I see that there are um, a few people um, in, in the chat. Um, where uh, we have, I have other fellow um, professors at play and tell me, well, why don't you try um, to create a game out of it? And um, that's how um, Snout and Tails um, came to be. So um, here is um, the board on your screen. Um, so the gameplay is based on a classic, very classic game. I, maybe um, I'm Pretty certain most of you have heard of it, but it's shoots and, and ladders. And you can see that um, the shoots have been replaced by little snout, uh, snouts and um, the ladders are actually uh, pigtails. And so the, the students start at the bottom uh, with that uh, clearly very sick pig and um, the objective for them is to go all the way to the top. 
And so um, they roll a dice um, and they have three different uh, squares they can land on. One with a question mark that is green. Um, that is a quick knowledge question to, for them to review those concepts that I talked about that they um, see in second here. The warning sign on the orange um, square is a disruptor. Think um, with this card, you can switch um, your pawn with somebody else and you can move forward. Or um, this is a, a rope, so you don't fall down um, a snout and um, you can actually stay where you are, things like that. Um, and the pink with um, the veterinary caduceum right here uh, are clinical scenarios uh, where uh, students are given a clinical situation and they need to choose um, an antibiotic to um, get those, those piggy to heal. And so depending uh, on the answers, if they land on um, a green square and they are correct, they move forward one square. Um, if it's a pink one and they're correct, they move forward two squares. But if their answer is not correct, they move backwards. And um, so it's, it's a race basically where the, the first student that comes at, um, that ends up um, at the top wins. Um, so I implemented it in, a, like I said, in small group teaching during um, the fourth year clinical rotation. So those students are in the last months of their training before uh, they become veterinarians. And it was part of a two hour active learning session. Um, the first hour I designed um, an ebook for them with the review, um, that is a, a review of um, antibiotics based on their second year class and they have a worksheet to complete so that it gives them some time to remember what we are talking about. And then we play the game for um, an hour. Um, here on the picture, you can see the, the prototype for um, Snout and Tails before um, the tails were on and it was um, a smaller board. And um, We've made some, um, some changes with the students' feedback as they've asked me to include more pink squares and um, clinical um, scenarios. And um, what was supposed to be an individual or solo game, like one person having each of their pawn, they prefer to play in pairs so that they can bounce ideas back and forth um, and they feel less intimidated um, playing. Um, so the, the feedback uh, that I got from the student was uh, really great. They love it. They asked me, um, so it was supposed to be once during that clinical rotation, they asked me to play it again. So I thought that was a good sign. Um, um, I think it got them motivated. Um, I did some pre and post knowledge check and that, that improved, but I feel like the relevance of, of this uh, might be discussed because um, any learning intervention might um, improve those. And they said, for sure, keep the game for future years. And they've helped me come up with uh, some scenarios. Um, so I think that that was um, very, very successful. Um, from my own standpoint, as an instructor, it was uh, way more fun than standing in front of them for two hours, just listing um, products one after another or active ingredients and see their eyes slowly glaze over. Um, the students were really, really engaged. Um, and we had good discussion and they were less afraid asking question and why choosing this um, antibiotic versus another. And um, talking about good um, anti uh, antimicrobial usage and stewardship. Um, and it was a higher level dis discussion. Um, and later on, when I take them on farms and we start having discussions with clients um, about clinical scenarios or um, products that they may be using on the farm for whatever situation they're facing, um, the students are more engaged, they ask more questions, and um, I feel like they gain way more um, out of it. Um, so 
this is really briefly um, what SNART entails, what um, is about. Here is my email if you have questions. And it looks like we have four more minutes for, um, for questions, if you like. Thank you so much. Are there any questions for Pearl? I was kind of wondering um, if you had like details of how you created that. I know you gave what the color of squares mm -hmm. was, um, but I don't know if you have any other. Yeah, so um, there have been some games that were uh, a little bit similar developed in medical um, education. Um, so with some of those cards and, and questions, and uh, this one was really based on shoot and ladders. The um, orange cards came from uh, Monopoly, right? When you uh, land on chant and you have to uh, pick that card up. So that's how it came up. And we also have a great team of um, instructional designers at, at the U who helped me, played with me um, and figure out if it was working fine. And that's how we came up with the appropriate number of squares to move forward and backward so that the game, there was really the, the game aspect to it. It was not just um, a quiz, you know, disguised as, as a game, because I think then that would really demotivate the, the students. So yeah. um, that's great. Can I answer your question? Yeah. I took some of the question from um, one of the, the final um, from my, my colleague in second year. Um, and um, the students never realized that. Um, yeah. <laughs> in the end, oh, there's so a question in the chat from Deborah. Yeah. Do you supply the answers to what's on the cards? That's a great question. Um, and uh, yeah, I didn't mention that. So the um, the green card uh, have the questions at the bottom. Um, they're just upside down. They have the question on one side and the answer on the other side. So they don't really need me. And I ask another team since now they really um, are playing with a team, a teammate to ask the question. Um, and for the pink card, they are open-ended. And because there are several options, actually there is, you know, it's a clinical scenario. So there is some flexibility. There are some answers that are wrong, but they, they can be multiple answers that will be correct. Uh, I am here in the room to kind of lead the discussion. And more often than not, it ends up being a discussion among all of the students um, as to like, why would we choose that or not? And uh, what may happen? I love that. Thank you. Any other questions for Pearl? There's some <laughs> comments in the chat of uh, instructional designers saying, I'd love for a faculty member to approach me with a project like this. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And yeah. actually, we have um, somebody from the library um, who designed the, the little ponds with a 3D printer. So everybody had a lot of fun. So it was good to do something a little different. <laughs> Amazing. 